it going? My name is Robert. Welcome to GuitarControl.com where we are learning, well, we are learning the classic free song of All Right Now. It's All Right Now. So, with this one, it is, um, it's actually a very, very simple song. You know, there's not a lot of parts to it. And we're going to do the main riff and then uh, the first little solo that they do. There's that big, long outro solo that we won't be covering, but uh, that first, you know... It's a really, really cool little groovy A minor. A pentatonic solo, so we'll be diving into that one. And other than that, if you want taps for this, make sure you grab those. That link is down below. And let's go ahead and get going. All right, so here's that opening riff. And like I said, it's, it's very simple, not a whole lot of moving. Uh, basically, it's a very common rock and roll. Little rock and roll, a little riff, uh, riff thing here. So we're gonna start with an A5 chord. So that's just simply playing open A string, second fret on the D, second fret on the G. There you go. And then so we have. And you play it again, and then you go to this. Um, this is basically like a D major chord. And what it is is you simply kind of have to bar your pointer finger across uh, second fret from the D string down. Your ring finger is going to go to sixth fret on the D, and your middle finger is going to go to third fret. I'm sorry, fourth fret on the D with your ring finger, and then your middle finger goes to third fret on the B. Okay, so we have. Then you go back to A again. That's the first part, so. Now here's, this part's a little bit trickier. Now I'm going from the A and I'm going right back to that other riff but it's a rhythm that's kind of tricky. So it's like grouped in twos as you have the chord. And then back to that A. So we have... Now if you listen to it, um, the way that I, I tend to play it is when I go to this, I hammer on to those chords right there. So I'm hammering on to that third fret on the B and fourth fret on the D. And when I do that, when I start that out, I kind of aim for the lower part of it. Then I go to the higher, kind of like the full thing. So it's like... So what is going on here with this part? Now this is like the chorus when they're singing all right now. It's just simply a power chord. So you're just going to be holding down 7 on the D and 9 on the G. So you do it three times. Then you're going to play 9 on the A string by itself and 7 on the A. So Then you're going to go to 5th fret on the D and 7th fret on the G. So we have... Then you simply take uh, your pointer finger and move it back a string to 4th fret on the D and you still have 7 on the G. Play it twice and then you come up here and go back to that first power chord, 7 to 9. So we have... Okay, so let's dive into that solo. So this is the first, like I said, first little solo. The outro solo is extremely long. Um, and uh, it goes like this, so... So this is all based out of an A minor pentatonic scale. So it's all kind of like out of box four, basically. So if you don't know box four of your A minor pentatonic, it's going to go like this. It's 12 to 15 on the low E, 12 to 15 on the A, 12 to 14 on the D, 12 to 14 on the G, 13 to 15 on the B, and then 12 to 15 on the high E. So... 
majority of these notes are coming from. So uh, I know there's one where we go part where we kind of jump up here, but don't worry about that too much. So basically you're gonna go So you're just repeating going 14 on the G to 13 on the B. So you have three times. And then you're gonna go four, 14, 15, 13 on B. So then you go 14 twice on the G. Then 13. Okay, so then you go. Now that part is bending 15 on the B. And you pull off, you kind of bend, release, pull off the 13. Then back to 15. Then it's 13 on the B and 14 twice on the G. You kind of slide off to nowhere. So. So. So that part real, real slow would go like this. Also, I should point out, I'm adding some like little little bends in here, just from like just that's kind of just how I play some of the notes, like the. And I don't think that they are adding that in there. That's just me. So you can add some of these little like quarter step, like half step bends if you want. But uh, that's just a personal preference of mine. So the second part of that solo starts out literally identical to the first part, which goes like this. So what is that? It's like that. It's very similar. It's a much quicker bend. So this time we're gonna bend 15 up, come back down, and pull off the 13. Then instead of going to unbend 15, you're gonna bend it again. And you bend 17 on the B. So then it's 13 on the B, 14 on the G. Then you bend 15 on the high E string up a full. String. That's kind of like a slow bend, real dramatic, kind of like over the top. So the whole solo, all put together, real nice and slow, would be like this. Okay, now if you enjoyed this lesson, then you would absolutely love our Ultimate Song Collection, which you can find by clicking right here. Now, this is a DVD set has over 150 songs covered in it, broken down even more than what I did here. This is just kind of like, you know, an example of the song. These are broken down into fine details, very clear instructions. You get chord charts, tabs, uh, there's strumming, literally breaking down the strumming patterns, all that stuff. It's very, very intuitive how you know, easy just to follow along with it. Now, if you would, you can click on that uh, the little iCard. That'll take you there. If you're on your phone, you've got the second link down below in the description. will take you to that DVD set. And, of course, you can click on the screen. So lots of different ways to get to it. So definitely go check that out, and then we will see you next time.